I'm a zombie! I've been bitten! No! You're listening to the Survival Podcast for zombie nerds everywhere. You're all going to die down here. <laughs> is Zombies Ate My Podcast. Broadcasting to you alive from the Zamp headquarters here in wonderful New Hampshire where the weather is a tidbit nipply and so are the zombies. <laughs> that was a good one. Joining me as always, my round table of survivors underground in a secure location to the even further north, the busy zombie lord, Lou Page. Are you gents ready for something different tonight? Tonight is going to be very different. <laughs> <laughs> very, very different. But I'm excited. I'm excited for two reasons. One, we have that handsome Canadian guard in the borders to the north safe. <laughs> it's none other than Ryan Murphy. Hello. Handsome. You're just saying that because you can see me. I know. I can see your ugly faces all over my computer right now. <laughs> but we'll get, we'll get into that in a second because we have a special <laughs> guest. We have a special guest tonight <laughs> joining us. From the dirty south, the Lone Star State, I believe they call it. Yes. It's from Dallas, Texas? Yes, Dallas. M- Michael Cole, how are you? Hey, everyone. What's going <laughs> on, guys? Michael Cole, you uh, you were on this show once before, a long, long time ago. Welcome back. Thank you. I think it was like the pilot or something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I think it was like it was episode close. three or four. Yeah, it was pretty early on. <laughs> yeah, and as, as usual, listeners, do not go back and listen to <laughs> episodes 1 Please through 40. Um, we don't recommend anything below 15. You're probably yeah, just... Yeah, it would be best for everyone. But speaking of episodes, they said it couldn't be done. The haters were hating. But we said if The Walking Dead could do it, we could do it too. We've hit 50 episodes of Zombies Ate My Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, the Walking Dead has not... <laughs> It's not yeah, it was, done 50 it was, episodes, has it? No, no. So we're ahead of The Walking Dead. Oh. Take that, Walking Dead. Have they done 50 episodes, you think? I don't think. Four yes. seasons, yeah, 60 probably, episodes a piece. Right. Yeah, yeah, all right, they win. They're, I mean, they're if you count the individual now. comics, that may be equal up to 50. <clears throat> oh, that's, that's way over 50. That is way over 50. So what we're going to do tonight, everyone, mm-hmm. it's not going to be your standard, typical, awesome Zombies Ate My Podcast <laughs> podcast. We're going to uh, try something <laughs> new. It's going to be new. It's going to be different. We're all nerds here. We all have a good time. We all love zombies. So we're going to combine all that love, and we're going to do a little zombie role-playing game for everyone tonight, and uh, that's why we brought Michael Cole in here. He's, a, he's an expert role-player. No? No? All right. He's not an expert role-player, but we brought him anyway. We are like, come on in. Come on in. We need so, a fourth. <laughs> so there's not going to be any typical news. There's not going to be a topic of the week this week. We're going to play right through a zombie campaign that Lou has made. We're going to use a wonderful program online, and we're going to be rolling some imaginary die. And uh, I think we're going to have a good time. You guys ready for this? I'm born ready. <laughs> I was going to say that. Thanks a lot, man. Well, I stole your bit, you know? Yeah. Mike comes <laughs> on every couple <laughs> years, his, and his, his bit is, I was born ready. <laughs> I took it. I mean, that was, so, not, that was not fair. I'm sorry. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. This is our first time doing anything like this. A lot of us have never really done role playing before. Um, as as everyone would guess, the 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 zombie master of tonight is gonna be none other than the actual zombie lord, Lou Page, who's gonna be narrating the story. And uh, Mike Ryan and I are gonna be trying to go through and kill us some zombies and stay alive. We're gonna be playing ourselves. We have some stats and some attributes. We're gonna follow along with some paper and some pens. We're gonna nerd out. Let's do it. I'm I'm thinking I'm ready. I'm pumped. You guys ready to do this? <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm, re- I'm ready. You just we started like 30 minutes guys, ago. So. Yeah. All, right, all right, let's let's try this then. All right. So without any further ado, the first ever Zombies Ate My Podcast Role Playing Edition. I wish I had some creepy music. I was gonna say, do you have a bumper? Or uh, you're queued yep. up a bumper. It's this. No, that's not a bumper. That's jazz music. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, take take it away, Lou. Tell us what we're doing. So, Bob, Mike, and Ryan are in a car, and they're on their way back from work. They're carpooling because you know we got to protect the environment. 
Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm supposed to role play everything, right? <laughs> oh God. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, I'm driving, everybody. So. Uh, and so you're coming ad- driving along a, hi- a stretch of highway, and all of a sudden it turns into bumper to bumper traffic. And this is not a stretch of road where there's normally bumper to bumper traffic. All right. So this seems unusual. What's going on, guys? There's like. Never bumper to bumper traffic on the 401 at this time. Like, what is going on? Look at all these cars know. on on the road here. Seriously, so there's no cars. one moving. Roll. I would like each of you to roll your brain check. Brain check. Brain check. That is uh, one, one d10 plus three brains. Oh, I have no, I have no brains, guys. You have zero brains. All those zombies ain't going after you. <laughs> I got oh. more brains than Mike. I evidently I have a, a 3D <laughs> dice. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't it showing up? <laughs> it just scrolls. Oh, boy. All right, I got to not. This is going to be interesting, fellas. So, All right, here we go. So Bob notices that off of the, the one of the offshoots of the stretch of highway, over by a factory, he notices that there's a bunch of ambulances and fire trucks lined up along the factory. All right, so I'm I'm looking out the window, and I go, Whoa, guys, you think there's some sort of crazy accident going on over here? Do you see that? Look at all those ambulances and fire trucks. <laughs> that's, that's that's ridiculous. Oh, now that that's... you mention it, that is a lot of flashing lights. There must be maybe a fire or some sort of shelf collapse incident. <laughs> shelf collapse incident, huh? Well, that's, the, the, that's what we go to? Depends on what the... kind of factory it is. It, what, you know, it could be volatile joker juice on the shelves. I don't know. You know, we've uh, we've drove past this every day for work. I've never actually wondered what kind of factory that was. Well, we're stuck here. Should we go look? Well, or is that well, part of the- that's part of the story here? Oh. So you notice all of a sudden that there's a bunch of people around the fire trucks, and they're coming towards to stretch a highway where you have a bunch of cars lined up along the road, mm. and you guys are right about here. You've just passed what looks like a little trailer. That's another offshoot of the road, and it looks like the trailer has something to do with the factory. Okay. And the, the people are coming from the fire trucks that are all yes, around they're the fire coming truck. in your dire- they're coming towards the street. Okay. So I guess I would look at you guys and go like, hey, what's, what's with all the people coming this way? Is there, there must be a fire coming out of the factory if they're all coming towards us and getting away from that factory, right? This probably isn't safe. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, why would they send them towards the road, though? Like, it's bumper to bumper. They ain't going nowhere. You notice the that? people in the cars ahead of you, probably about a dozen cars he- ahead, start getting out of their cars and kind of looking in di- the direction of the factory because they have a better view than you do. You have some trees blocking y- your way. So the- they're all getting out of their cars? Just to look. Just to look. Uh, Mike, why don't you go out and take a look? What's going on over there? Yeah, yeah, you know, let's, <laughs> instead of turning the car around, we should just go out, you know, walk out into the field you, or whatever. You can't turn the car around. The car oh, is the, you're too close to the person behind you and in front of you. Gotcha. Mike, Mike, do me a favor. I'm uh, I'm yes. tired. Can you you go out and check out what's going on? All right, so I'm sure. gonna exit Send the vehicle. Send Texan out. And and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk up the street this way, I guess, to, to talk to these people over here. So you're gonna go talk to the people that are coming out? That, that are that, so, no, that are already out of the vehicle. So oh, okay. That's a good right. idea, Mike. I good s- idea. So, Maybe. Mike, you you get a couple cars ahead of where from where you guys are stuck, and you notice that the people coming away from the fire trucks are running as fast as they can. All right, well, I'm definitely stopping my tracks. <laughs> I'm not gonna go any further. I don't, I don't know how far I got <clears throat> to that. And you see a second wave of people, not quite as fast, following the people that are running as fast as they can. All right. Well, I think that's where my instincts kick in, and I'm going to kind of back up and, and head back towards the car to notify the guys that something uh, strange is going on here. You notice that while, while, you're, while both Bob and Ryan are sitting there and you're walking back, you notice that the people in the cars in front of you are like waving to the people running and the people running hit the cars, run between the cars and they run out into the field to the left that's on the other side of the road. 
but the field doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> it just keeps going for miles. It's a long field, just a giant field. It's like an yeah. Iowa field. Okay, okay. All right, so do we? Do Ryan and I see this? Yes. All right, so I'm going to get out of the car and go to go yell to Mike. I'm going to be like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, dude? What, what do we got going on here? I don't know, dude. It was just like a bunch of people are running out of the factory with some slower folks following them. <laughs> what do you the mean by slower? faster people just ran across the street into the other endless field. What's Shit is going this? down. Are we sure this <laughs> isn't like an old folks' home and they're just like <laughs> trying to get away from old people? Because right, I've so, seen that happen before. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look and I'm gonna see what Mike's talking about with these with these slower people following the faster people. Can I get a closer look at these slow people? Like, you can, can I kind of see them? It looks like some people are wounded, hmm. like oh. they're bleeding. This is the slower folk. The whole yes. crowd of slower people, they're bleeding. Yeah, there, there's people that are bleeding. You can see what looks like scabs and open sores. And there's people actually spurting blood. Ooh, that's gross. It is an old all folks right. home. <clears throat> all right, well, I'm going to yell to Mike. I'm going to be like, uh, I don't think everyone's all right over there. I, I don't know if it would be safer to go see if they need help or if we should just get in the car and lock the doors. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? I think we should do our civic duty and, and see if these people need assistance. Uh all right, let's Am go. Am I still let's... in the car? Yeah, you're just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, you're still you're in like, the car. Should I get like... out of the car? <laughs> I'm gonna knock on the. I'm gonna knock on the door and go. Ryan, these people need help. Come on, let's go. Screw you! I'm gonna finish out. my coffee. <laughs> no, well, fine. It's hot in here, anyways. Where are? Where did we ever say where we were? Like, what city are we in? Raccoon. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, now I know what's going on. Now you're in yeah. a suburb just outside of Chicago. Ah, for the sake of in summer. Yeah. Okay, good. I hear <laughs> the winter. details. Well, you need the details. Hey, if it's winter, we talk about wet, wet winter weather all the time on this show. I don't That's know true. if I want to be in Chicago in the middle of winter. It's windy. So That's we are supposed to talk with a Chicago accent, eh? I don't think that's Chicago. I don't know that's, if that's a word. Yeah, that's way off. All right. So, so the three of us are now out of the car, and we're gonna go check on these people that are bleeding. Ooh. As you guys approach the, the, the vehicles, you notice that the wave of wounded people and the people that are standing outside of the car, their cars that are like waving to the wounded people, like trying to get their attention to see if they need help. Yep. You notice that the wounded people just kind of bombard them and attack them. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to change the game plan of helping these people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I guess I'm going to see that. I'm going to see people kind of just bombarding him and attacking other people i'm gonna go whoa 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 these people do not need help we just need to get out of here yeah i don't like the look of the way that, that one person just jumped on that other person like that's well, not normal we can't really we go back to, to the notice car. something all of a sudden uh -oh. the people that ran out into the field a dozen or so of them are returning okay and they're wounded like the people that you saw from before? Uh, from before. But they're coming in the opposite direction. Oh, okay. Shoot. <laughs> this isn't a good start. No. Uh, We're surrounded, guys. <clears throat> All right. So something definitely wrong is going on here. I think what we need to do is look into some of these cars, see if there's anything we can use to defend ourselves with, any of the unlocked cars or our car. Is there anything? Can I look around at cars, Lou? Maybe just roll see you, if... Roll a brain check again. Just bobber all of us. Uh, all of you. Well, I'm going to say, yeah, because I'm going to be like, guys, we gotta, we got to defend ourselves here. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm not very smart right there. <laughs> oh. Now how does it feel, Bob? Oh. So. All right. So Mike remembers that, it's, that they, he had to change the tire in the car once, and there is a tire iron in the back, in the trunk of the car. That's pretty big and hefty. Oh. And is it one of those, is it one, of the, one of those like crooked ones or is it like the cross one? I mean, what type of tire? Uh, one of the crooked ones. Crooked ones. So okay. it's long. So that's a good one. That All cross right. one wouldn't do you much good. <laughs> the power of star. Christ compels you. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Trust All me, right. it does not work. So Mike adds a uh, tire iron to his weapon inventory. Nice. Yes. That is a solid find, good sir. All right. 
Bob, unfortunately, yeah. you remember <laughs> that's my that, idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you notice in the back yourself. you notice a toolbox in one of the backs of one of the empty trucks along the road, and you reach in and grab the toolbox. Alright, so toolbox is going in the items. Yep. Alright. I have a toolbox. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Hey, we Bob the have... builder. Yep. <laughs> Ryan remembers that this, um, a, uh, 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 what the hell? Ryan remembers that he has a, 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 a knife for security tucked under the driver's seat. Guys, I just remember, <laughs> I always keep a knife under the driver's seat just in case we get carjacked in Chicago. It, well, it, it sounds silly, well, but I had an aunt that used to keep a hatchet in her front seat. What? Like a hatchet? <laughs> Like yes. Assassin's Creed 3 hatchet? Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Well, that makes sense. All right. So we Not got really. our we got our stuff. How far away are the uh, slow people coming at us? They're about 100 feet. Mm. And all we know for now is that they're just attacking other people? Yes. They haven't come for us yet? They have not come for you. But you notice that more people are getting attacked, and you realize that people start just running the opposite direction down the road. Okay, the people that are not attacked yet. The running. people that are not n not a attacking. Like, people just start running past you. Okay. Hmm. So, guys, I got my toolbox. <laughs> Can you open um, the toolbox and see what's inside? I think first we need to move, and then I'll figure out what's in the toolbox, all right? I don't know. <laughs> all right, fine. Are there, um, are there any buildings in the area besides the, like, factory warehouse? I'm glad like, you over asked. This area? Right <laughs> behind you is what looks like a trailer and it looks there's a sign that looks like it's attached to the factory in some way shape or form mm -hmm. and then about a hundred yards from the trailer there's a bunch of warehouses all right um, what do you think mike do we uh do we try and go to that trailer it sounds like one of those contractor trailers it's just going to have paperwork and computers in it, which probably aren't going to help us very much right now but They're, they could mm -hmm. have a safe because like that's where they would keep all like the money and stuff, and there could be like a gun or something in there. Are you worried? Are you talking about robbing people right now? I'm talking. How about... are we gonna open a safe? <laughs> I did not I mention it on my box. character sheet that I am a, I am master the master lock. of unlocking. <laughs> right, roll think... e, uh, roll uh -oh. a brain check again. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Double digits would be nice at some point. All right, I got an eight. Double what I got. Did you roll, Mike? Yeah, I got a ten. Okay. Mike and Ryan notice that some figures in some gray uniforms start coming out of the trailer mm. to see what's going on. But like, like overall uniforms or what? Can we discern what type of uniform it is? Like, is it an overall like mechanic or something? It or? looks like they're in like gray shirts and black pants. Probably like a security guard. Hmm. Ooh, security guards. I have a tire iron. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time. You probably don't want to rob the security guys. I might want to change their tire on the trailer. I don't know. I'm just you saying. would be a very nice man to do that. So I don't notice this because I'm just looking down at my shoes going, no, you, oh, you, oh, the right you one's just untied. Noticed that, you just noticed that more people are running in your direction. Okay. <laughs> You're so still looking in the opposite direction. You're still trying to determine what the hell to do with that toolbox. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> should I oh, open, open it? Thing. Should I just leave it? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but just right, hug so, it a little bit. Right. Hey, hey, those guys in the gray shirts and black pants look look safer. We should go see if they're all right and see if there's any way we can get in there and hide or something. Don't you think? That's actually probably one of the guys idea. in gray waves to you guys. He sees you standing there while everybody's running past you, and he waves like to beckon you in his direction. Sweet. All right, I Except say we go. Yeah. Let's hey, you go. guys wanna? Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. We're, we're going to go towards the trailer. I'm going to carry my tire right. iron in a non-threatening way. Yeah, I'm going to put my knife back in my belt loop. I'm going to hold on to my toolbox while I jog. That, <laughs> you'll probably fit in because if they're mechanics, like, they got a toolbox. <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed that three six-foot-four big burly dudes are in security uniforms. Uh -oh. And one of them hollers to you guys, hey, hey, hey. What are you guys, what's going on? 
Where'd all those people come from? I got this, Sir? Bob. I got this. All right, you, I gotta, I'm going to hold on to my toolbox. You just worry about getting that toolbox <laughs> open. And, Mike, you, you watch up behind us. Make sure nobody's running after us. Okay. Burly security men. Ooh, yes, you are burly. <laughs> not, a, um, not a good start. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to touch you there. Um, I'm wondering uh, if you guys can help us. There seems to be a disturbance behind us at the factory. Some sort of attack is going on. People are running in all directions. Very People very wounded. We need to get out of here, get to a safe place. Do you have any weapons? I'm a very trustworthy man. Please give us something to defend ourselves. Well, they w we called an ambulance because there was a disturbance at the factory, and they sent some fire trucks and a couple of ambulances, but we haven't heard anything since they arrived. Well, you probably noticed that a lot has happened since then, and there are a lot of ambulances, a lot of fire trucks, but there's also a lot of people running around, bloodied, and attacking. We need to do something. We need to get out of here. Do you guys have anything you can help us with? He reaches down and... He pull, holds his hand up to stop you guys from talking, reaches down, grabs his walkie-talkie off his belt, and says, This is Chuck. Uh, have we heard from anybody over at the factory? The ambulances are going, but I don't see any people. I see a lot of people on the road. Hmm. And he gets nothing in return. <clears throat> Chuck. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say, Chuck, you gotta you gotta believe us, man. There is something really bad going on here, and we need to get out of here. We need to get someplace safe. Is there any way you can help us at all, fellas? Why don't you come with me uh, and step inside this trailer? This is the security bunkhouse. Um, this is kind of like the lunch room for us. So why don't you step inside here? Uh, me and uh, Barry here are gonna go take a look out on the road. All right, thank thank you, Chuck. And guys, Barry, between you and me, has you, have you ever been able to trust anybody named Chuck? <laughs> just curious. I've never known a Chuck. I just want to make sure we're in the right hands. You called him Burly. <laughs> well, he looks Burly. Did you not see those pecs? I mean, come on. Chuck right, guys. Stacked. So you step inside the trailer. All right. Oh, it's cozy in here, guys. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh fans, we got a new mess going on. Wow. Wow, Lou, you were with Sofa beds, queen bed. TV. Just the Pretend queen. the bed is a desk area. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> damn. This is just a rough <laughs> estimate I took off of a website, so All right. All pardon right. the so, design. <laughs> so first thing I'm like going to do... Hold on, hold on. First of all, I like the skylight over the top. That is super <laughs> phenomenal. That's classy. That's so you can yeah. see the stars while you. You know, uh, like you can, you know, you can put some uh, nice little you know, candles on the edge there. Read a book. Have yeah. some wine. For our audio listeners, uh, we'll have these images uh, in the show notes for you guys to look at and have up, so you can have some reference. But uh, man. Lou really outdid himself with these skylights. I mean, <laughs> I want this trail. I want this security trailer for work. Uh, yeah, I it's amazing the things you can find with a Google image search. Oh, you don't. I, I've don't been there. Started. <laughs> All right, so we're in the trailer. We're gonna shut the door. I'm gonna look out the door real quick. Is there a window on the door I can look out? There is a window over the sink and over the doors. All right, I'm going to look out, out over the sink. I'm going to kind of peek and see if Chuck and Barry are all right, and I'm going to go. You see them stray out towards the uh, street, and now you notice that there's less people running and more of those people that are look wounded approaching Chuck and Barry. And you watch Chuck hold up his arms like he's trying to slow them down, trying to get their attention. No, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, Please. Chuck, I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna and then like, you Chuck, watch Chuck, no! as like a wave of about twenty or so zon people <laughs> approach him, and they just kind of wash over him, and you don't see him anymore. And that's when you notice Barry. Barry pulls out a baton and just starts wailing on people. Oh God, guys, we need to save Chuck. No, we don't. I had a connection <laughs> with them. <laughs> he's burly um <laughs> seriously though, right. is chuck dead do you guys see chuck i don't he... even see him anymore i don't uh. even think barry's gonna make it we gotta we gotta find some stuff in here to protect ourselves i don't i don't think this place is very safe how many doors Yo. to this place like how there are two there's two the two yeah. entries there at the bottom yeah 
is is the skylight the only... <laughs> sorry lou is the skylight uh sort of close enough that we could get out that way uh no it's about the skylight i'm just saying we need to barricade it's about the doors feet up ah damn what if we built a human pyramid? <laughs> so I'm going to look around and see if there's anything I can use in here to take with me. Uh, actually, first thing I'm going to do is open my toolbox real quick and see if there's anything in there that could uh, yeah, be Yeah, I would used. like to search for any like weapons lockers or something I, useful. And while they're doing that, uh, and hopefully they can find something for me as well, I mean, I've got my knife, so I don't expect to find much better than that. I'm going to spend time uh, securing the area and barricading the doors and making sure there's... The attackers can't get in. I mean, Barry and Chuck at this point can handle themselves. I mean, we already yeah. established they're burly, so. Okay, so you see a desk, and uh, Ryan, you see a desk mm -hmm. and some chairs that you can push in front of the doors. But Perfect. it doesn't look like they'll hold up against a huge crowd, but it might slow them down. That's all we're interested in. We're just trying to get as much stuff out of here, and then we are gone. This is a confined area, and that skylight is creepy. So I'm just going to so, push the, the table and chairs in front of the main door, where, where most of the attackers are, I guess. Okay. Um, Bob, oh, they're you, like, open up, yeah. you open up the <clears throat> toolbox, yep. and you find some elec electronic gear. It's a toolbox for, like, an electrician. Okay. So you've got wires. So, like, uh, shotguns and... No. no, <laughs> no okay. No, no. <laughs> you've got, like, electrical tape, <laughs> wires, cable cutters... Nothing that really would be helpful at the moment. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna pocket like the uh, cable cutters and the the tape. Okay. Idea. And then I'm gonna, uh, and I guess I'll pocket the wires too. Just if there's not, a, is there like just small wires or is it just like lots of wire? It's just lots of wire and like All a right. soldering gun and like soldering I'll just take, wire. I'll just take the uh, the um the cable cutters and the tape, and then I'm just going to search around with those guys real quick. But I'm going to be like, guys, we don't have a lot of time. we got to get out of here. Uh, can I use those wires to tie the doorknobs? Sure. Okay, pass me the wires there and the wire cutters there, Bob. All right, here you go. I'm going to keep searching. Okay, thank you. Okay, All I'm right, going to use Ryan, the wire I'd like you to Ryan, I'd like you to roll up the body check. All right, 1d10 plus don't fail us now. 5. Am I burly? Not well. I forgot I have the. Oh, not today's. I haven't been doing my push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I rolled a seven. Okay. So you've tied some wires around the doorknobs and tied them to some various objects in the room to try and slow them down. Good. Nice. Nice job, Ryan. Nice idea. Well, thank you for the wire. I'm glad I grabbed that toolbox. Well, I'm glad you did too, Bob the Builder. All right. <laughs> Uh, TM. Mike. <laughs> yes. You notice that there is a file cabinet in the corner, and when you tested the drawer, it's locked. Damn it. Okay, well, all right. Can I see if I can get that one edge of the, uh, the flat edge of the uh, tire end to kind of pry it open? Sure. R roll a body check. Nine. You pull and you pop the drawer. Nice. All right. What do I see inside? Inside, you see a revolver. It, it's in a bag that has a label on it. It's like a clear bag, and it yep. says for emergencies. This is a hell of an emergency. I'm pocketing <laughs> that bad boy. Uh, Mike, you find anything good over there? Yeah, dude, I found a revolver, kid. Nice. <laughs> I want to uh, pop open the cylinder to see how many uh, live rounds we got in there. It is a five-cylinder uh, revolver, and you have five rounds. There's no spares. There's no loose ammo or box. No loose the ammo. Store? This is supposed. This is supposedly in case something goes wrong and security does need a firearm. This is like been sitting in this drawer forever. Hmm. That's a good find there, Mike. We're going to need that gun, I think, because these guys, they took on Chuck. And I, like I said, had a connection with Chuck, and I think he would have been able to handle a couple other men, but they took him on, and he went down hard. So you're yeah. going to need Brian, that gun. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna store it in my waistband, kind of near my appendix. Nice. Make they call sure it you... Mexican carry, but it's not. <laughs> Make sure you have the safety on. I mean, I saw Eight Mile. That did not end well. See, it's a revolver. There really is no safety. Well, then maybe you shouldn't put it near anything vital like your penis. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Where's this show going? All, All right, right. So what's going on? I'm still searching around, right? But we got to get out of here. So I'm gonna. I guess Bob, I'm gonna you notice that yeah. you noticed that you hear something at one of the doors. Which door? The one that Ryan blocked off, or the other yes. one? Yes. All right. So yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna step a little bit closer and look out that window of the door, and take a look at what I see. You notice about four bleeding people that look crazy eyed, scratching at the door and like trying to push their way through the door. All right, I'm gonna it's guys. Grown. Guys, uh, we don't uh, have. We don't have. <laughs> grown. <laughs> What was that, guys? I think they're at the front door that I just secured. They're, they're, guys, they're at the door. We got we to gotta grab whatever we can right now and get out of here now. Well, so, the back, the Mike, back door should be pretty accessible. So, All right. Let's head towards the back door then now. All right. All right. To the back door. I'm going to look like one last look across all the counters as I go to the back door because I still don't have a weapon just in case. You don't see anything. It's just paperwork. You know, I just realized we should have looked for. I what? I lost you there. Did you lose me? Yeah, I got you back now. What would you say? I said you don't see anything. Of course I don't. Why would I? Blind. It's just paperwork. It's just paperwork. All right, so we're all heading towards the back door. Mike's got his revolver stashed. Ryan gave me back the cable cutter, so I at least have something. There you go. Take the. Thanks, man. You want the extra wire that I have left? No. (laughs) All right. I'll add that to my item list. Actually, yeah. All right. I have, an idea. I have an idea. Here's your wire. Thank you. It's right. secured. Thank the, you. Hopefully the front door holds while we sneak out the back. <clears throat> Ryan, right. you noticed that when you tied the wire to the door and then you tied it to other things in the room, oh, that God. the wire actually, the door opens inward, not outward, <laughs> and you tied the door, <laughs> pulling it in the direction of... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought I had a br- higher brain stat than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, guys, so, we have to run. Because I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you There's did. There's still like a cabinet in front of the door, so it's slowing whatever the, 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 the zombies coming through the door, but they're coming through the door faster, so I recommend running. Guys, right, we need to run. run right now. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do let's it. Do we're it. out of right. here. Let's head towards those warehouses that we saw. Yeah. The, the empty warehouses are the allegedly empty ones. The ones that were behind this trailer, the ones that we saw yeah, from before. Yeah, let's go that way. All right. Yeah. Let's head out of there. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. The ones that are right, so, kind of like greenhouses. All right. We're going we're gonna to so, pop out the door. You have zombies here. The uh, uh, Barry and Chuck went down right around here on the str- uh, side of the road. Mm-hmm. And you exit out the back of the trailer. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just survey what's right around us right now, and then we're gonna head towards the warehouse, right? I think yep. that's a good plan. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a bolt for it then. The 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 zombies are still occupied by the trailer, so you're fine, and you make okay. a sprint for the warehouse. Okay, that's where we're going. We're going to the warehouse. Okay, let's do it. Chuck and Barry Give me a just second while I lives. change maps for you. All right, so we make it successfully safe to the warehouse, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three of us. We did it, guys. <clears throat> Hold we on. survived. All right, Hold so now, now, guys. All right, now we're kind of like, no idea what's going on. We're we're panicking. We're we're breathing heavy. We're like, oh, what is going on? You know, like just can't do anything about I, it. You know, I just really don't know what's going on. I just, I feel like. This could be it, guys. This could be the end of the world. <clears throat> you, and, hmm? Did you see them? Did they just maul Chuck? They they went down like just I don't know. I've never seen anybody overwhelmed like that in my life. Like that is just crazy. Oh. I mean, Mike, how Mike, how good are you at shooting revolvers? Mediocre. <laughs> oh man, is, mediocre oh. with revolvers. All right. Wait. How? What about your handgun stats? Are they any better? Um, well, my aim's four, so that's not aim terrible. sideways. I find that helps. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, 
you guys reach a parking lot mm. to the warehouse. And you can see that there are more zombies along the road, along the warehouse, and that nobody has run in the direction of this warehouse. Okay. Mm. So we're in the parking lot right before the warehouse, you said? Yep. Hold on. Give me a second here while I load it up. So we got no one else around us. Is that what you're saying? It's just us right now. In the you're like right lot. here. Okay. And what the, sort of vehicle? The, the nearest entrance is right along here. And you notice that the parking lot is pretty sparse. There's maybe one or two cars. Are right. there cars, not pickups or anything? Nope. They're just, it looks like two regular sedans. Mm. All right. I say, I say we just go right up along the side of the building here and uh, see if these, these warehouses are open. Well, how, how close are those sedans to that entrance? I mean, if they're not, if they're close enough to the door, we should just scope them out real quick, look through the windows. They're right I here. Wanna, I don't want to set off any alarms. Uh, no, no. Well, not gonna set off by looking at it. You don't even look at it. All right. Well, I guess we'll go check out the cars then, just to see if they're unlocked or. Oh, I, mean, I was gonna say if they were closer, we should check them out the further away. Yeah, That's kind of risky. Having to run to the door. How many it's zombies are we looking at? It's the far end of the building. It's only twenty feet. <laughs> No, I'm just <laughs> so I don't know if that's canon. If okay, <laughs> so if it, it's at the um, it's at the far end of the building, so it's probably yeah. be quite a bit to get over there and get back, right? Yeah, that's it's not worth it. If they were closer, I'd say go for it. But if, all if right, let's, if there's a good know. twenty or thirty parking spots before those cars. Oh man, oh, yeah, screw that. It's let's just get, try and get in there and get safe. Yeah, it's probably just like a GPS unit in there. That's not going to help us. Right so. Now. The whole front of the building here that you see is glass. And you see a secretary behind the de a desk. And she, as you go through the door, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? This is private property. Uh, do you have authorization to be here? Oh, I'm, I'm going to look at you guys and say, should I whip out the gun or not? No. <laughs> Here's your authorization right here, lady. All right. uh, <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> he picks up a radio on the desk and goes, Chuck, Barry, we have intruders. Can you please make your way to the main office? I'm going uh, to go, listen, listen, lady, receptionist. You're not going to get Chuck, and you're definitely not going to get Barry. There is some crazy, crazy shit going on out here. You, you, you need to come with us. Uh, what Bob is trying to say. I'm not going anywhere with you, sir. And where is Chuck and Barry? What did you do to them? Okay, whoa, whoa. Calm <laughs> down. What Listen, I'm, lady. <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody just needs to cool it. Oh, what's your name, miss? Mary. 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 My, my name's Ryan. This is Bob. And We don't have time for this. <laughs> just, Bob, seriously, we need to be subtle and, and, and calm, even though... There is just a, take a look out at the giant I glass know, window. <laughs> I know. There are... Okay. Mary. Roll a roll a roll a uh, brain check right now. Mm. All of us. Yep. Boom! I finally got above a five. <laughs> Six. Ugh, five. This is good. I win. Okay. I got an eight. Oh, Mary is. runs past the three of you and says, "See, there's Chuck now." And she runs out oh. the door. Oh, Mary. Mary, Mary, no, that's not Chuck. Mary, <laughs> screw Mary, Chuck. come back. Close the doors, grab that wire, and we're going to wire up that door. Which way does the door open and close? It, <laughs> we it can't leave her. It opens no, inward. We got to get Mary. I feel like a jerk for yelling at her. So I'm going to I'm gonna run out there after Mary and tell her it's not Chuck that she's chasing. Is it just Chuck or is there any other? Uh, you any only text? see what looks like a person in a gray uniform approaching the building. Okay, so shambling? I'm going to. I'm going to run out the door then and say, you just start yelling, like, Mary, that's not Chuck. All right. As you step out the door, it's too late. You notice oh. that Chuck takes a big chunk out of her oh, neck. Oh, my God, Mary. And then you notice that about 50 feet behind him where you couldn't see, there's about another 10 more zombies approaching the front of this warehouse. 
Okay, I vote. Uh, I vote we go back to Mike's idea <laughs> of wiring that person Thank you. out of the office. Because uh, well, which which way do the doors open? Do they open out of the building? They open yeah. inward. Are they double doors? That's that's, that's actually yeah. against fire code. Just to let you know. <laughs> well, oh, was, I know it is. Fine. But I'm looking at these blueprints, and it looks like they open. <laughs> so inward. do I? Do I have enough time? Because I'm going to look at Chuck real they quick, do. and I'm I'm still sitting here. I see him. I and I see him. Chewing on Mary, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> so knowing that like this isn't like a zombie world right now, knowing that I don't know anything, I'm going to try and still – I'm going to try and like – can I run up to Chuck and like tackle him off of Mary? If you want to, roll a body <laughs> check. Why would you – You're close enough. Well, I got to I, – does he have a baton on him still? Oh. No, he's just – it's just him in a bloody oh, uniform. All right. Um, I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, does he have his walk? Does Mary have her walkie-talkie? It, yeah, she had it in her hand, and she's dropped it now that he's turning her into a snack. Mm, snack, Mary. I'm gonna. A snack. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try, try and get the walkie-talkie. I think is what I'm gonna try and do. Can I get there? Can I get to the walkie-talkie? You'd have to approach pretty close to them. Bob, we don't have time for this. <laughs> well, we need communication. I'm assuming we don't have our cell phones on us. Uh, uh, do we have our cell phones on us? I think us? we left them in the car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, is. they're in the car. Uh, All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run up and try and push both Chuck and Mary over while they're engaged in uh, mouth-to-mouth combat. Snacking. <laughs> and and try and try I'm going to try and jump, run over and push him and then grab the walkie and run back. All right, knowing that Mike's got a revolver behind me. <laughs> Uh, we don't want okay. to draw attention, so you know, body check's probably the best way right. to do it. They're not paying was- attention to you, so I'll let you have first uh, initiative, so you can attack first if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, am I checking to see if I hit first, right? Yep. That's my body? Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> we need better rolls. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just charging right now, and I'm, I'm like stumbling over my untied shoe as I charge. I'm like, ah. My eight's still pretty high. You're just fumbling with your toolbox. Everything's falling out of it. He's still got his toolbox. <laughs> Mike, look at this. Look at this guy. He's just. Why wouldn't he leave his toolbox here? He's coming right back. Why? Why is he being the hero? I this guy's crazy. Really attached I think, to that toolbox. Ryan, you and I, we're gonna lock him out. It's gonna be a two-player game from did now you, on. Bob, did you just roll an eight? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you managed to knock Mary over. Okay. Why would you hit the girl first? <laughs> I don't you, know. <laughs> you, you missed it. You hit her, out? and she stumbles to the ground, and she just is laying there bleeding, and okay. she's just gurgling. And in the meantime, Chuck <laughs> is still standing right next to you. Okay. And uh, So. <sighs> all right, do I... Okay, am it's I standing still? too late. Stop attacking. Oh, God. <laughs> You've taken right, away his snack. Oh. It's now your turn. All right, so he's going to go, and I got a body check again, right, to see if he yes. attacks me. All right, so. Should Mike and I be, like, doing anything, like maybe trying to help? Or are we too far away? You could only see this stuff from the distance of the inside of the building. Bob's about 20 feet from you guys. <laughs> hey, Mike, I think Bob's winning. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing quite fine. Yeah. I mean, Twenty feet is pretty long Hi, distance. Bob. For... Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> <laughs> Another eight. Wah wah. Uh, Hold on. This could be a quick game. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is dead. What do you do? <laughs> Take three. Three damage. Yep. All right, I'm down. To he shoves right. you to the ground. All right, so I, I'm now I'm on the ground. Am I near the walkie-talkie at least? <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, sweet. In my in my, uh, can I grab it real quick? Do I have enough perception to grab the walkie-talkie and run away, or am I? You're on the ground. Uh, if you want to grab the walkie-talkie, roll a oh. roll for your body. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> it's not going so well. <laughs> I'm gonna retype it. I'm not gonna use the quick one. Maybe it'll go better. Uh, rolling my body. Yeah. <clears throat> my body. Oh, yeah! Nice! That's a good body. Right. 
Nice. You managed to grab the walkie-talkie and also managed to pull yourself halfway up so that you're okay, almost so, standing up now. So I'm almost standing. and uh, You're in like a kneeling position, approaching it, standing. Okay, and Chuck's right right near me? Yes. And he's Can I? reaching What's over he to grab you. Okay, right. I'm going to... Okay, go ahead. I was saying, uh, Mike, Ryan, uh, roll a d10 and determine which one of you is going to go next. Four. Whoa! Ten, nice. High roller. High roller. Big money. All right, Mike, what do you want to do? He's watching Bob get attacked by Chuck, and there's several more zombies approaching. Bye. What do I want to do? Bye. Uh, how long would it take me to, to catch up to, to Bob, I guess? It would take you at least a good 20 seconds. All right, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to assist Bob, the crazed maniac, going to attack everyone. Um, so I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out there and w wielding my uh, tire iron. Okay. <laughs> you can't get close enough to attack yet, but the zombie definitely, Chuck definitely notices that you're approaching. Okay. Distract him. Which is, Mike, which is distracting distract him. him from Bob. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Ryan, what do you want to do? Um. Uh, you know what? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna equip my knife, and <laughs> I'm going to ignore all things I learned in kindergarten and try to run towards Bob and try to help. <laughs> all right, you approach about the same distance as Mike. Okay. And. You guys are about here. Mm -hmm. The zombie horde that's approaching of about 10 is about here. It's about the length of a dr uh, two or three cars. <laughs> and, and where's Bob and what? Chuck and Mary? They're right here. The new sitcom. <laughs> but you couldn't Chuck. see the zombie horde Chuck. quite as well because there's trees along here. Oh, that's what those so. circular things were? <laughs> yeah. I thought they were cheese wheels. I thought they were so. umbrellas. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna on my in like on my kneeling position. I'm gonna see all these uh, are these people that are coming at us all crazy. Like I'm gonna look at Chuck. I'm gonna look back at Ryan and Mike and go. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think I we all back. made a mistake. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Might I suggest you both you 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 run in the opposite direction. I, oh yeah, I'm running. Do like I, I I'm gonna say I made a mistake and then I'm gonna bolt. Towards Mike and Ryan. All right. All right. Do I have to roll a body so you, again? <laughs> nope. So you, All right. You, Ch Chuck is distracted long enough that you can get up and run. I got my walkie-talkie. So you run right past Mike and Ryan in the opposite <laughs> direction. Screw you guys. What the? We are coming to save you. <laughs> get inside quick. There's more coming. Yeah, definitely what? time to turn around and head back towards the building. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run I'm gonna start running into the uh, into the building I'm gonna as I'm running I'm gonna get put my walkie-talkie on the clip and just kind of put it there I'm gonna start like unwinding the wire that I had left over from Ryan mm. and I'm gonna start getting it ready because as soon as they walk in run in through the doors I'm gonna try and tie the wire to the door handle so it kind of stays tight and it's harder to get through Can I do that? That's a lot of stuff for one action. I'll just say I, you made it into the office, okay. the building. All right, I'll wait for the other guys to catch up first. So I, I make it into the office, and I'm looking back at them, going, "Come on, guys, let's go. We got to get back inside." All right. What are you doing outside? So, yeah, well, I'm definitely turning around. And yeah, we're de we're gonna run back inside after Bob now that he's suddenly ran back inside. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Everybody roll a d10. Yeah. Three. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Bob, you're terrible. I roll a one. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Lose like Bob trips and falls. <laughs> well, you're already inside, Bob, so you're probably the safest person to roll a one. Bob yeah. stabs himself in the eye with the wire. <laughs> ah, That's not God. how that works. <laughs> Guys, I just I just tied my wrist together with a wire by accident. <laughs> Help me. I don't know how this happened. 
<laughs> okay, so... Uh, uh, Ryan, you get to go first. All right. You've noticed that there's ten zombies mm -hmm. or so. It's a hard, hard to count. Plus, Chuck are approaching you. Are you gonna run back into the office? What do you want to do? I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run back into the office. Okay. Because that is probably the safest thing at this point is to get back into that office and secure it. Now, is there anything I can do to help Mike get back into the office, or do I have to wait till his turn? It's you gotta wait till his turn. All right. Well, fuck him. Get in the office. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. I tried. It's okay. It's okay. I have the gun. gun. Screw you guys. Oh, right. He's got... The, yeah, but there's ten zombies and you only have five bullets. I can take out right. four and then... <laughs> oh, jeez. That's dark. <laughs> that's dark, man. That just, just turned around. All right, Mike. All right. So, Ryan, are you going to run? Yeah, I am running. All right. You run, but you notice that three or four of the zombies are getting awfully close. And they're right around the same spot now as Chuck's is all right uh, well that probably doesn't change anything but as my turn ended i've run, i can't make it back into the you office. can't do anymore but that's what you notice while you're running looking over your shoulder okay so i i yeah man all right mike you're up all right yeah i am going to head back to the boat okay and bob you're last yeah, What's going yeah. on? I'm going to look at these clowns finally getting back inside. wonder what they're doing outside. I'm going to make a wisecrack joke. I'm going to be like, what are you guys doing out there? <laughs> and uh, Screw you, man. I'm going to let... I'm going to let them in, and then I'm going to... Can I try and tie the door shut now that they're both in... Are they both inside? Yep. All right, and the zombies are super close now, right? They're, like, within 10 feet of the door now. I don't have time to tie that door, because I'll screw something up like Ryan did. So I'm just going to say... Guys, we survived, we gotta, Bob. Unlike you, who went after Mary. I tried to help. All right, so I'm just gonna say we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep moving. We can't secure the door. I don't think I have time. <laughs> Is so, there anything we could push up against the door? I mean, this is gonna be pretty thick. Let's push Mary's desk door. against the door. Is it more? Okay. It is now. <laughs> we're gonna need a combined. We're gonna need a combined effort to do that, though. <laughs> All right. Are you guys going to move the desk? Yeah. I, that's yes. our best bet. All right. I need you all to roll your brains. Okay. That's not going to look good. Ooh. Yeah. Ten. Nice. We ain't dum-dums. Oh. <laughs> Ryan is. Oh, the doy. Yeah, right. yeah. Nice. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you guys are pushing the desk against the door, two of the zombies are at the door already, and you can see their arms as they're pushing their way through the door. Guys. But, but you've got the desk in the way, so the doors aren't fully opening. Whew. And where's Ryan? Are we all three of us are pushing this thing, right? Where are yes. we? Who's the closest to the zombie? The zombie arms are trying to get in? Yeah. They're like reaching through the crack in the door that's about a foot wide. Okay. So who's closest to the zombie arms then as we're pushing this desk? You're whoever, whichever one of you is standing in the middle. Who's standing in the middle? <laughs> Should we I roll? Guess? Should yeah. To see who's in the middle? Right. Yeah. Roll 1d10 or? Roll 1d10. I'll tell you who's in the middle. All right. Oh, sh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Mike, you're in the middle. Okay. And one of the zombie arms is almost grabbing you. Okay. Well, since I was running out to to help Bob with the tire iron, I, I assume I still have it in my hand, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try and smash that arm up. All right. And not hit these two guys. Yeah, for the love of God. Yeah. Swing careful. Don't hit the door either, because it is glass. It's glass, yeah. Is, uh, Mike, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> All right, yeah. Mike, Mike, use that well, tire. I mean, what's, what's the other? I mean, I could try and shoot the arm off. I no, guess. no, 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 That's a Just bad idea. Hit it, hit it with your tire iron. See if we can get this thing closed all the way. Stab it with the tire well, iron. Well, if, if, could I, like, call my shot? Like, can I do, like, a more, like, a vertical? 
swing as opposed to like a swipe? Yeah. Okay. That way I don't hit the door. I mean, I don't hit the glass. I'll just hit his own. So I hope so. <laughs> well, you know, we'll All see. Right. Half one. Mm. All right, Mike swings at the arm then. Mm. Get it, Mike. A vertical motion. Okay. Roll your attack. I don't even know how much damage that tire does. Six. It does 1d6. Oh. Wait, is he doing a body check first, or does he automatically hit it? He's rolling a body check. Oh, yeah. so we got a six. All right. Yeah, six on the one. So you swing and you miss horribly and hit the desk. <laughs> He's right there, Mike. Oh my God! <laughs> You're right in the middle. He's listen, Ryan. You have the knife. Maybe you can cut it off like that guy who got his arm stuck in the boulder when he was hiking. Okay, everybody <laughs> needs to roll a body check. I saw that movie. It took hours to do that. <laughs> One hundred twenty-seven of them, I think. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm pretty sure this is not the time to be discussing Oscar-worthy films. We need to defend ourselves. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, Sorry. we gotta keep pushing. All right, what am I? What are we doing? Rolling, uh, rolling a James Roll. Franco. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> rolling a, rolling a body. <laughs> Roll a body. I rolled a twelve. Wait, do I need to reroll my body? Lou? Yeah. Yep. My okay. body. <sighs> Eleven. Freaking six. <laughs> All right, so the zombies push against the door really hard, but you guys manage to hold it still. Ah, oh, man, they're so strong. Two new dead people could be so strong. <laughs> Maybe I should have hit the desk again with a tire iron. <laughs> <laughs> Not helpful. I'm going to... Uh, uh, so we, we hold the desk off. Can we, like... Can we push, if I say, like, guys, on three, we all push the desk as hard as we can into the door, and maybe the arms will just fall off? <laughs> will that work? It's not a bad idea. I just, Go for it. I'm like, all right, so I'm just like, guys, guys, on three, we got to push as hard as we can. Ready? One, two, two three. And we all just, like, push so okay. hard. Roll body check again. Roll the body. Friggin'. Oh, I own that body. Simmer down, Conan. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Not over. I just, I just ripped my shirt off. I'm like, Rah! let's push this dance. <laughs> All right. Just flips instead. <laughs> like, Why are you doing? <laughs> I turned into Hulk Hogan. Okay, so <laughs> it backfires, and oh, the zombies come suck. pushing through the door. Oh. You've got about five zombies standing in front of you in the doorway, but you've got the desk between you and them. They gotta climb over the desks to get at you. You know what really sucks about that? Mm. Is I think this is a pretty good stopping point for the very first Zombies Ate My Podcast role playing episode. What's gonna happen, guys? Cliffhanger. Dun, 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 dun. This is like that movie, 127 Hours. Yeah, if you had stopped it when he got to the little nerve point and he was screaming <laughs> really loud. Spoilers. Oh, you just ruined the movie for I'm everyone. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so I think that should do it just for this little first episode. If you guys did enjoy us playing a little role-playing game of a, of a zombie RPG kind of, let us know. We're definitely going to continue this campaign one way or another, and hopefully we can get it out to you either uh, via video content or podcast content. If you guys enjoyed listening to it, let us know. If you enjoyed watching it, let us know. Uh, Ryan, what's the YouTube channel? The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash zombies ate my podcast. We are actually lucky enough for people to be able to find us at Zombies Ate My Podcast on uh, Google Plus, YouTube, and Facebook. The only one we don't have that account is Twitter because some guy is an asshole. (laughs) That's usually how it works, right? Yeah. So, as always, we're going to end this show with everyone being able to go to slashloot.com and look for their own Zombies Ate My Podcast t-shirt. Available in all sorts of sizes, double XL, triple XL, small, toddler, infant. Also, three amazing colors, ash gray, super awesome white, and deep black. Mm. I added my own adjectives to those colors. I don't know why you did that. It's like an Apple website or something. I know, right? Space gray. <clears throat> Space gray. <clears throat> so, go to slashloot.com, search for the zombies, ate my podcast t-shirt, buy yourself one, let us know how you look in it because you're automatically going to look... I mean, you're going to add plus four to your dice roll right there when you when you wear that Zombies t-shirt. 
which is what our problem is. Yeah, we all should need to wear our Zamp shirt next time. I know, right? What, what I don't have one, but I have this shirt. Oh, oh zombie, zombie response. response. I think he's the only one that's prepared. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. A plain black shirt. All right, and Ryan, when we're not playing role-playing games, where can people find us? Well, you can find Zombies Ate My Podcast, all that goodness, at zombiesatemypodcast.com. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at Zombies Podcast. I had mentioned just briefly that you can find us on Facebook, Google Plus, and the YouTubes at Zombies Ate My Podcast. Also, uh, be sure to give us a listen on Love Leads Radio. I'm, I'm not going to plug it every week, but uh, we are featured on that uh, online radio station, and you're more than welcome to go and listen to some cool rock, and then listen to some, you know, Zombies Ate My Podcast. But uh, subscribe to us on iTunes. Give us five star reviews. And just a quick thank you to Joel Duggan for uh, the fantastic artwork that just keeps on trucking for whatever we do, whether it's a uh, a zombie RPG uh, pushing a desk up against a glass door for some reason episode, or it's a Walking Dead spoiler episode. It's always there. So go visit him at joelduggan.com. JoelDuggan.com. Thank you very much, Ryan Murphy. I would also like to thank Mr. Mike Cole from the Lone Star State of Texas for joining us tonight. Uh, we really appreciate you jump, coming along. Hope you had a good time. I just said oh, chumming a, along. <laughs> Why did you call him a chump? That's not very nice. <laughs> you chump. Never come back. Don't forget, I'm the one that has the gun. Yeah, he's got the clip I'm in control here. The chump has the gun. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. It was fun. Can't oh, wait to finish right, this and don't forget to email us at uh, info at zombiesatemypodcast.com if you'd like to see more of this or if you have any other feedback or suggestions for us. We always love the uh, Ask the Busy Zombie Lord and Bad Zombie jokes as per usual. But um, for myself, what? I was just going to say, no, that's a really good point. If uh, This episode specifically, when we try new things, we'd like to know if it's working or not. So please let us know on the Twitters, on the Facebook, Google+, whatever your, your weapon of choice is. Please Carrier let us pigeon. know if you like this. Carrier Pigeon, I mean... We'll get them next week, but that's fine. <laughs> or Owl, if you're a fan of Harry Potter, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let us know what you think, because we really want to know. All right. Yeah, we all want to know. Don't we, Lou? Yes, we do. I really want to know if any, anybody found this interesting. So <laughs> I, I, We had a good time. Really, that's, all I know that's I had the first time. step, right? As long as we had a good time, who cares about everyone No, else? I said it's the first what? step. The second what? step is... Did to... I say that? <laughs> all right. Well, for myself and for the rest of the survivors, thank you all for listening. Until next time, roll high, aim low. Oh! I think it'd be like, roll high, aim high. I, yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? No. Why would you aim low? Their brain is up here. Yeah, that's... I take it back. Roll high, aim high. <laughs> Boom. But until Why are we shooting him in the dick. Like that's that <laughs> wrong head, Bob. <laughs> oh my god, hold on a second. Incoming bad zombie joke. I think joke. that was the bad zombie joke right there. You don't you don't get to you don't get to get away that easily. <clears throat> Alright, Michael Cole, let me ask you a question. What's up? What does a zombie get when he comes home late for dinner? I have no idea. A cold shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty Jesus good. <laughs> That's pretty good. A cold uh, shoulder. Thanks, you. <laughs>